I'm Donna Bruco and you're on the list. OK, Irish limerick time. <clears throat> there once was a reporter named Jake, an attempt at a jig he did make. His feet were too slow and his arms wouldn't go. Still, he has some dance tips for your sake. Sounds a bit like a pirate, but anyway, Jake Peterson busts some Celtic moves around Tampa Bay. At number one, Lord of the Dance. No, not me, this guy. Five, six, seven, eight. Stephen Scarif owns the Scarif Hardiman School of Irish Dance. It's quite energetic and it's very dynamic. He's got quite a resume, including a past role in Lord of the Dance and other big time Irish shows. But now he dances and teaches in Tampa. Scarif will be showcasing his students around Tampa Bay this weekend. And if you start feeling the vibes from the bagpipes, he's got some advice. Keep your arms in, you don't want to knock the drinks off the tables. Um, and just have fun, let loose and, and go for it. At number two, since you've been practicing that Irish jig, plenty of St. Patty's celebrations around Tampa Bay. Ybor City will be full of dancing leprechauns Saturday night with a parade on 7th. On the Pinellas side, Dunedin's downtown will be full of Irish luck with an all day long celebration. And Hyde Park turns green with events on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday evenings. Plenty of ways this weekend to say, Come, come, you ever kiss the leprechaun? At number three, if you were looking for a reason to drink green beer this weekend, this may do the trick. Political ads, they're back. No, God! Just three days after we get past the ads for David Jolly and Alex Sink, we're reminded that there's a race for governor coming up. Serenity now, serenity now! Rick Scott is the first to jump into the TV ad pool. Contender Charlie Crist is sure to answer those ads with his own, and we're off to the races. Now you are caught up and clued in around Tampa Bay. I'm Jake Peterson.